Hello, 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 everybody. Welcome to our Tuesday evening short circuits, round two, buns and guns. <laughs> so guys, I hope you are having a good week so far and that you are ready to get to work. So what you're gonna need today, pretty easy. I would say your required equipment is going to be a, just a full selection of upper body weight. So whatever it is that you need to sort of have a light, medium, heavy in your upper body range. And you're gonna need a circular resistance band. So when I say that, just real quick, I'm not gonna go into great detail, but you want either one of these or one of these. Now, if you don't have this, it is not Required, I know I just said required equipment, but you know what I mean. So you don't necessarily have to have this, but it will be helpful to take your exercise, just one of them, to the next level. However, if you're a beginner, you most certainly won't need these. And if you aren't a beginner, but you don't have these, I'm going to show you a modification that's going to take it up to the next level with no band required. So either fabric band rubber band, whichever one, that's what you're going to need. And then just your yoga mat, your floor support, kind of goes without saying. We always want this kind of mat underneath us just to help us be comfortable in the floor. We do have one exercise in the floor today, and that is it. So what are we doing? What, oh, and your optional, optional, so your band is optional. Um, and our buns circuit, we are not going to be required to use weight but you can use some weight in two of the four exercises. So if you do want to add some weight, you're more than welcome to do so. I just didn't include that because it really isn't necessary, but always welcome to take that extra challenge. So if you do want some lower body weight, you would want two to hold side by side. So that's what you're looking for if you want some lower body weight. Now, what are we doing today? So short circuits, buns and guns, that's what we are doing today. So short circuits um, can mean a shorter class. Now it won't because we're gonna do both circuits, which is gonna work out to be um, about an hour's worth of class with instruction and breaks and stuff like that. So hopefully a little bit under, but it'll be about an hour. But the beating part of short circuits is that instead of taking eight exercises to fill out 49, 50 odd minutes, um, and it taking a long time for you to get back around to one exercise, you get back to exercises shorter. So what do I mean by that? I'll just explain it really quick. Let's say we're working our glutes. We're doing an exercise for our glutes. So we're doing, um, let's say a deadlift. Well, in a circuit, we would do a deadlift, say the first exercise, and then we're gonna go through eight exercises. So that's eight minutes of work plus breaks, plus the break at the end of the circuit before we get our back around to deadlifts. So if we don't do any other booty exercise in that eight minutes, then it's gonna be a long time before we get back around to those glutes. They've relaxed, a lot of that pressure's come off of them. Not a terrible thing, but how we can flip the script on that is do the circuits shorter. Circuits, woo, <laughs> circuits shorter. So we do just four exercises, so we're getting back around to that exercise more quickly. Now you've been changing the game more by making each circuit really focused on one part of the body. So that's what short circuits are. The other beauty part is I definitely have heard the feedback, not really from viewers, but from loved ones and friends that, gosh, Tracy, you know, 60 minutes is a long time to work out. Not everybody's built to do that. And that's what all of my videos are, is about 60 minutes. That's the way I like to work out. Um, but I definitely acknowledge that. So with these short circuits, you can actually take them and just do one. So if you just need a quick 25 or so minute workout, you can just do the buns or just do the guns or do the buns in the morning, the guns in the afternoon, and break it up like that. I hope to, the magical day that I have free time, to actually go in and break these videos up into two parts so people do have just the 30 or so minute options. So that's the beauty behind short circuits, just a little explanation. It's only the second time we've done these, so I thought I'd go back to explain. So like our normal circuits, we're gonna do one minute of work, 20 seconds off, four exercises instead of eight, and we'll go through it four times. So that's what we're looking at today. As always, add music if you need it. I've got the timer, so you don't need to keep up with any kind of timer. I've got that for you. The only noise that you will not get a, or a, a situation where you don't get a noise 
is when the workout starts. Otherwise, you will get notifications every time it's time to move. So I've got that, you add the music. Modify as always if you need to. I'll do my best to tell you modifications, but I do check the video as much as possible. So if you have any questions, just let me know, leave me a comment, or if you're watching after the fact, comment, message, whatever works for you. And uh, lastly, just a couple of things I always mention, please like, subscribe, share, do anything that we can to get this message out to more people. We are still kind of shut down. Things are opening back up, but we're in that limbo, right? So I know there's still people out there looking for work at home options. What better than what we're doing here? So please help us get this message out there. And lastly, if you wish to donate any funds for these classes, another beautiful thing about these classes is they are donation based. Pay what you can. Anything you can give is greatly appreciated. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. All right, guys, I'm gonna take a drink of water. I am parched. So I'm gonna take a drink of water. I'm gonna check the video. I'll pop back in, let you know we're about to get started, and then I'll hit the timer. If you're doing lower body weight, you do not need weight for the first exercise. It'll be the two exercises in the middle, excuse me, of the four where you want weights, all right? So get yourself situated. We're working on the buns. I'll be back in just a sec, and then I'll let you know when I'm hitting the timer. I'll be right back, guys. All right, friends. So where we're starting, just because once I hit start, it starts. So we're starting with standing knee drives. If you're super familiar, like I said, I always try to carry over an exercise or so from workout to workout so that not every exercise is a surprise and it gives you multiple opportunities to work on that exercise. So standing knee drive, we did sort of in our 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 workout um, where we did the, the cross body knees. So very similar, we're just going to be down so we're not coming cross body like we were last time. We're just coming straight forward. We're gonna get that nice forward lunge knee. It's stationary and we're pulling that knee in, staying low. Now when you stay knee drives, I said be tall. Here, we're gonna be low, a little bent over, a lot of pressure in that leg, weight towards the back of the heel. We're pulling through, pulling through, pulling through. Pressure, gonna build in that booty. Make sure you're keeping your weight towards the back of your foot. That's what's going to shift the weight back to that booty. So we're going to work there. It's 30 seconds left leg, 30 seconds right leg. I've got the timer right in front of me so I can call out when to switch. All right, guys, we're going to get started. I'm going to bend down, hit the timer in three, two, one. Let's work. Pull and pull. I just sounded like that commercial I've been hearing. The guy doing the fire hydrants, the free and free. <laughs> it cracks me up. I know it's dorky, but I'm like, oh man. <sighs> Sorry, there's definitely a dog barking outside. It's beautiful here today. So I've got the garage door open, so a little fresh air. Three, two, one, switch it out, pull it in. Good. Weight towards the back of that foot. Really feel that glute engage. Now here, you can, if you want, work on that slower and try not to touch your foot down. So you're really balancing on one foot. And I told you not to do that in our cardio class. All right, I told you not to do that in cardio class because we were working on how fast can we pull that knee in. This instance, you can slow it down. So I'll go back to that once we get in the circuit, um, at the top of the circuit again. Right here, we're doing alternating back lunges. So we're gonna start at the top of our mat. We step back. If you're going all the way to the ground, you wanna end in like a 90-90 push-up. Now friends, touching your knee to the ground, is definitely optional. Trust me. Even having hopes of getting all the way to the ground. <laughs> we 
was years in the making for me. So if that's not in your meter range, you just go as low as you can. There, guys, we're under 10. Woo! All right, down to the floor. We're going to put on our bands. to a bear, into a hover, no knees on the floor. Talk about extra. Woo! <laughs> All right, come on up. We've got just a minute here to catch our breath. Then we're going to go back through it again. <sighs> so, those mule kicks. Normally, I tell you, this is the bottom of your foot. You're going straight up. Try it this time. Go on at like a 45. See if that hits your glute in a different place. We do these a lot. So, try changing the angle. See if it hits you in a little different spot. If you have no band, do the same exercise. Just no band. Or... Tuck a weight in between your knees. That's another option that creases your knee and your calf. Or take that bear option I just showed you, which is insane. <laughs> All right, so stay in knee drive. Follow me. Take it a little different. So I'm going to turn so I've got the wall to hold on to a little bit. So we're going to come down into that lunge, make sure that hip's in alignment. And now instead of work on a fast pull, I want you to kick it back, pull it in, and try not to touch the floor while you do it. Now you can take the extra challenge. Try not to hold anything for balance, but it's good to have something close by. Switch legs. Now you can really feel that glute by slowing it down. Weight towards the back of your heel. Changes it up, right? Woo! <laughs> All right, guys. 
alternating back lunges. So one thing to really pay attention to, and I know it was tripping me up, we all do, is when we step back, step straight back. We tend to step back and stagger. Think you're standing on railroad tracks? Not balancing. All right, turn this direction just for something new. Step back, push. Ooh, you can hear all my snap crackles and pops. So we're trying to get this nice 90-90. I know most of us, self-included, get more extended. We get back here. You really want to get 90-90 stacked. That really long extension is a runner's lunge. It's a thing for sure. It's not what we're doing here. Balance is much better facing this way. <laughs> How funny is that? All right, so we've got those skaters coming up next. So remember, you can jump into those skaters, you can just lightly hop, or you can just step across. Your option. Great work, whatever you choose. I'm gonna move over to this side of the mat here. All right. And I really want you to focus here on that settle in. So you hop across and then you settle in, you push. Settle in, push. To focus on that settle in. I kind of meet in the middle, just a little light hop across. So very similar to a curtsy lunge. We're focusing, we got that big push back. So the difference is a curtsy lunge. You come back and you've got weight in both feet. Whereas with a skater, there's really not much weight to no weight in that back leg. Oh, I need my band. <laughs> See, it just gets a tuck in. All right, alternating mule kicks. So again, we're doing that kind of 45, just to see where that hits in our glutes. If you're doing the 45 and you're like, nope, the 90 is better, knock it out. Go for the 90. I just like to encourage you to try new things. Sometimes just the difference in an angle can really get that muscle working in a whole different way. Remember, we also have the option to come up into the bear. Kick. But you're staying into it, so don't come up like this. You gotta stay into it. Knees hovering. All right. That's your break. Catch your breath. Woohoo! Sweat from the work. Sweating from the heat. It is 75 degrees here, guys. If you're not in Tennessee, whew. I'm gonna pop around and check on the video real quick. All right, so we are doing good. So we got two rounds down of this short circuit. 20 seconds left on our break. Back to that standing, I want to call it standing slow knee drive. I really like how that shifts the work when we slow it down and really balance. We've got five seconds, let's go ahead and get yourself set. I'm going to try flipping the other way. Again, why not? So, 
We get settled in. And we pull through. Try not to touch that foot back. Ten seconds to the side. Make sure that hips in alignment, not cocked out to the side. Two, one, switch it out. Again, you want your weight towards the back of that foot. Don't be on your toes. Core nice and tight. Ooh, boy, that's some work, huh? That's one of those exercises we always talk about in how oh, we train in person is if someone were, were to walk by and see you do that, they'd be like, big deal, you know? They didn't do it. It's like, oh, crap, big deal indeed, actually. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll train back lunges. I'm going to try my balance this side again. Ooh, so many Rice Krispies. <laughs> Good work, friends. So if you had weights, you'd be holding weights down by your side here. For me, back lunges are still from years of not doing them. <laughs> back lunges still generally prove to be pretty challenging for me without weights. When we do heavy lifts, not as many reps, I'll add some weights. But this is a lot of reps, so I'm taking the no weight option for my own knee safety. Just tell me that, not to make excuses for me, but to show you, you gotta listen. Even when you know the world is watching, <laughs> listen to what's right for you. I could be worried about showing off for you guys, but if I worry about that, chances are I won't be doing many more videos for you guys. <laughs> so, that's so crazy. We're about, I think this time next week will be a year since my first video with you guys. And I'll be right at 100, just under 100 total videos. So wild. But so grateful. For those of you that found me and work out with me, I know personally I think I'm in about the best shape I've ever been in by training myself, focusing on lifting. All right, back to those mule kicks. Shimmy that band on. Get yourself set up. All right. Let's do it, friends. Focus on that contraction. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Good work, friends. Keep going. I'm going to challenge you here. If you are up to it, this last 10 seconds, over those knees. across on that one jumps. All right, guys, that 
guys, three or four. We have got one more round to go. I am dripping. I should have hooked my fan up. Oh man, I guess it feels good. Working out in a cold room is, you know, it's better than not working out at all. <laughs> but this presents its own set of challenges. And I do, I love to sweat, which is good because I'm a sweaty, sweaty human being. So that's good. <laughs> oh, 15 seconds. We're going back to that standing slow knee drag coming up. All right, which one did I do last time? I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> so let's set it up, get that knee bent, and we pull. pull. If you're trying to not hang on, but you're just losing your balance like crazy, just pick yourself a focal point that's not moving. And make sure that focal point is somewhere in line with your head, your line of sight. Don't pick the floor. If you look down, you fall down. Switch it out. this time. All right, guys, let's do it. We step it back. Again, step straight back out of that hip. No balance beam. Stagger steps. And again, touching your knees to the floor. Not a requirement. You can stop anywhere it feels good. If you have knee pain, there is no benefit to pushing through the knee pain. Only go as low as it doesn't hurt. And trust me, if you're saying that means I go down about an inch, been there. Been there for years. It does, it can get better. And if it doesn't get better, so what? It'll be disappointing, but it's not the end of the world. You can keep working in that same range of motion that you have. You can find other ways to move that work for the same muscles, but not in a painful way. <sighs> All right, let's do it. Take that challenge again for the last 15 seconds. So go ahead and mentally prepare. Just a few seconds till our challenge. All right, get yourself set. Push up, cover those knees. Push that floor away. Woo! Good job, friends. Did I? I skipped skaters. Holy smokes. Why didn't you tell me? Hysterical. All right, we got skaters. Ah, I was all fired up, ready to be done. I need 
like a like an emergency button. <laughs> Too funny. The best was in group fitness classes. You could always tell. You know, you'd see like a few people being like, <laughs> there'd always be the one person that's like, teacher. 15 seconds. Three. Two, one, that's the end of that short circuit. Ooh, guys, catch your breath. I don't have a set built-in break until the next circuit starts. So I don't want us to get cold by any means. But I don't want us to be quite as breathy either, if you're breathy like me. <laughs> so let's just take roughly, again, that I'm watching, about two minutes or so our breath but keep moving I don't want us to crash if you're doing this as a 25 or so minute circuit then you are done the buns is done <laughs> so you can go ahead and move on with your day but if you're staying for guns stick around with me keep moving go ahead if you don't have it already get your upper body weight together um, yeah, <laughs> so let's see, I'm going to tell you, you're gonna need, I would say definite two light weights, definite two mediums, and probably one heavy. That's what makes the most sense to me. We're all different though. So, but definitely a pair of light, definitely a pair of medium, one heavy will be about right for you. Um, I'm going to, we're gonna learn a new exercise. However, I'm gonna stick with it. But I've discovered, at least for me, I have some physical challenges that make this one exercise a little less comfortable than I thought it would. But I want you guys to have it and be offered and I'm gonna try it and be patient with it and see if maybe I just got frustrated. <laughs> All right guys, I'm gonna take a drink of water, a couple drinks of water. I'm gonna check on the video. I'll have to reset the timer and then I'll be back. So I'm gonna be just another minute and we'll get started. While we're catching our breath, I'm going to say really quickly, one, a thank you to those who have donated. Um, I used some of your funds to buy a webcam that I was hoping would make me be able to make these videos a little bit nicer. I think the quality is great, but I do acknowledge that the light kind of comes brighter and darker a lot as I move around. I really don't know what to do about that. Um, I have professional lights, but I don't know they're set up the best. Um, but I bought a webcam, thought it was gonna be amazing, and so far it is stumping the hell out of me. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I hooked it up. I finally got everything working today after almost throwing it out in the yard um, last weekend. So I finally got it hooked up and running, but the quality is really poor and it's a really nice webcam. So I'm thinking maybe it's just what I'm running it through. I'm running it through a pretty old laptop. But anyhow, if any of you watching now or later have webcam knowledge and might have some ideas for me, Please let me know because otherwise that bad boy is going back to the staples <laughs> and I am back to my phone which again I have no I really am impressed with my phone but I was trying to up my game and it downgraded my game quite a bit all right friends so enough about that we are going to do our guns circuit so I'm gonna go through the four exercises with you real quick because they're all kind of new at least new combos so I'm just gonna go through them real quick and then we'll get started so with your light weights, we're going to do an alternating front lateral, which we've done that before. So this is your front raise, this is your lateral, keeping your shoulders nice and squared off. But we're gonna go one, two, 
double lateral. Front lateral, front lateral, double lateral. That's exercise one. Then we're gonna do a high pull, W combo. So high pull, we keep our shoulders down, we lead with our elbows, and then we flip and lead with our hands. So high pull, W. High pull, W. Then we're gonna do a waiter bicep curl. So this is the one that's um, not working really well with my um, anatomy. So we hold the weight, and I'll show you when we get there. I'm not gonna blow a bunch of time on it now, but we're gonna hold one weight here between our hands, and we're gonna curl up. When we curl up, we let our wrists fold like this. So I'm gonna show you higher just because it's easier, but this is not where we're gonna hold the curl. So we would start here, pretend that's at the bottom, and we curl up, so like a waiter serving a plate, right? So let the weights curl, let the hands curl. That takes your forearms out of the equation. However, for me, I hit my girls, <laughs> and I can't really get a full bicep curl because my girls are in the way. So, I'm gonna try a set of it, but I'm not sure I'm gonna stick with it. Go through the first round with me. If you get to the end of the first round, you're like, no, that is not working. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do instead if I feel it's also not working. And then last, we're gonna do two count overhead tricep. We're gonna go one, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. So it's a stop, 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 stop. Stop, stop, stop. Okay? All right, so I just want to kind of preview all of that because all of that's a little bit new. So we have the waiter curl, overhead tricep, that's going to be one heavy weight. Waiter curl, bear with me. If it doesn't work with your anatomy either, then we'll move on to something else for the next three rounds. All right, guys, let's get started in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, I'm trying a little heavier than normal for my alternating front lateral. So I may have to switch. So front lateral, rotate front lateral to the middle. Again, you want to try to keep those shoulders nice and squared off. Shoulders plugged back and down. Where I really wish I had some sevens or eights. I'm gonna go ahead and call it that one. <laughs> All right, so we've got our high pull with our W coming up next. Getting a lot. We're hitting our shoulders, we're hitting the tops of our shoulders, the fronts of our shoulders, the backs of our shoulders, our biceps, our triceps. So that's all good, my friends. All right, so high pull. And then we flip, W, high pull. So you see the weight to the front, but the work is really to the back. For me, at least for this round, I'm using heavier weights than I normally would. So I'm slowing down a little bit. But that's not where you are. <laughs> you keep moving. Whew. I may not be able to maintain that weight throughout the whole short circuit, but I want to give it a shot. So. You see any sevens or eights anywhere? <laughs> Holler at me, because right now I can find them online, but they want like $30 for a pair of sevens. You know, I'm like, oh my gosh, no. All right, so waiter curl. We start here, so we curl up. We let our wrist go flat.
just hard for me to work around the ladies. But I feel it, so it's like I want it to work. I'm just not sure that I can, and it's kind of making me mad. <laughs> We give us the end of this round. And it says down for me. All right. Yeah, I just feel like for me, to get it to not get stopped by the girls, I'm ramming my shoulders, which is no good. Or if I'm open, I can't really get it anywhere. So I think I'm gonna have to bail on the waiver curl, and you do too. I'm going to show you something else we can do instead. All right, we got our overhead tricep, two counts. So we count one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Two, three. Good. Changes the game with that little pause, right? So what we're gonna do for the next round is incorporate this pause into our bicep curl. If you're not going to weight or curl, then we're gonna add this pause into our bicep curl. Beautiful. All right, friends. So, weight or curl is a great exercise. Like, please, don't think I'm dissing it. I saw it, I watched it, I watched someone I really trust do it. It was all boys, though, once I think about it. And then I was gonna do it, did it with one of my clients. She was amazing. She knocked out of the park. We were built very differently. So, I will show you a different variation we're gonna do for those of us who cannot wait or curl. <laughs> I'll have to do some research too to see if there's a way to work around that. All right guys, I'm gonna pop around the camera real quick and I'll be right back. All right. Man, I can just not get enough water today. All right, alternating front lateral, then the full lateral. All right, so guys, just remember, we're not rotating, so we're not turning this way and doing front lateral. Our shoulders, we're trying to keep them squared off. friends. We got this. Right. High pull. W. Ooh, I just got a great back pop. High pull. W. Now, if you're somebody who's worked out a lot or worked out in a lot of different places, you might know the high pull or do the high pull yourself as this like way up here. Guys, I'm not trying to tell you what to do, but can I ask you to strongly reconsider that exercise? It 
put your anatomy. Such a janky position. And honestly, when, I, when I've done it that way, just to experiment, to see what good could come of it, I'm like, what is even happening? Like, it just, it's been around for a long time for a reason, but it's one of those that need to be retired. <laughs> All right, guys, so instead of the one heavy weight, if you are not going to do, and actually, I'm gonna do these with lighter weights even. Um, if you're not gonna do the weighter curl, which I welcome you to, please don't think I'm dissing it. <laughs> we're gonna stagger bicep curl. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four. So just like we were, with the overhead tricep. And I made a good <laughs> decision to lighten my weights for my normal bicep curl weight. triceps. We got a two count stagger in that. Woo! Win! I feel like my arms are gonna pop. Woo! All right, friends. Overhead tricep. Get that stagger stance. A little bit in that knee. Not to work, just to not lock it out. To this, that's a challenge in itself, especially if you're new to this type of form. Biceps are like, no ma'am, <laughs> not today. Ah, so enjoy your break. We got two more trips through. Whew. Woo woo woo. I don't know if my arms are still just tired from Saturday. Woo, goodness. It's so about 30 seconds. Keep taking that break. Evaluate your weights. See if you need to make any changes. weights ready. I'm going to try another round of this heavy guys. Just a moment. I'm gonna do that now. Boom. What did I lose? About five seconds of work. Awesome job. 
again, I do wish I had something in the middle, but here's the other cool part, and I'm not trying not to talk too long. So, for reference, I'm doing tens, I went down to fives. I did those tens until I didn't feel like I could safely pick them up anymore. I pushed as far as I could with them. The benefit of that, aside from the strength building, the growth, is that if you've pushed yourself that far with, let's say, the tens, when you pick up those fives, they feel like they weigh 10 pounds still. So it really helps you still get the most out of those lighter weights. Now, if I had sevens or eights, I did sevens or eights the whole time, that would be perfect, right? But I don't have that option. So I'm gonna do tens as long as I can. And then when I pick up these fives, they feel plenty heavy. If I did those tens for as long as I could and then picked up the sevens, I'd probably be like, still too much. <laughs> Perfect. All right, we've got that bicep curl, either the waiter curl, and again, I couldn't show you real well, but let's pretend we're gonna start down here, but I'm gonna start, for example, out here. And keep that weight flat, so it's like you're holding a plate and you don't wanna drop the plate. All right, two count. I'm gonna do hammers this time. short circuits though, right? We're staying in, so this crazy bicep curl that's really challenging me, and a full circuit, we wouldn't get back around to it till another full cycle. Now we're getting back to it every three exercises. So the intensity is real. And again, I point these things out, not to poo-poo on a regular circuit, because you guys know I love me a regular circuit. But just trying to point out why I thought this was a really cool way to do it too. Plus, just always trying to give you guys new things. As I just talked about, we're at about 100 workouts together. We're getting close. If you're not sick of me yet, <laughs> we got to keep coming up with great ways to work out. yourself whatever pep talk it is you need <laughs> to get through this last little bit. Oh man, I'm going to laugh if you guys at home are like, I don't know what she's talking about. She's crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start 
my own best interest with my liner weights this round. But again, like I talked about, I got my muscles so fatigued with doing those heavier weights that now I don't need that in between. These fives feel perfectly heavy. Now obviously that method doesn't work. If the tens were far too heavy, then that would not work because then you would just hurt yourself. But because I could do the tens a good two and a half out of four circuits, Got myself nice and wore out. And now these light weights are already making me tired. <laughs> and guys, please never think when I say something like just these five pound weights, the five pounds is heavy for you. Please don't take that as me poking fun by any means. Please know that I'm someone who's worked out now for the better part of a decade. Yeah, right about decade. So, <laughs> there's a little difference. And even if you've been working out for a decade, you're like, that one's still heavy for me. It's all relative. I don't know who you are. <laughs> you might be a very much more petite person than me, build differently than me, have conditions differently than me. So please know, it's why I normally don't often even talk about specifics in the weights that I'm using. So I don't want anyone to think that I'm making fun of where they are at. Or make someone feel bad because they're not doing what I'm doing. Guys, again, just a reminder, all the activities in the front, but the work is in the back. All right, guys, we've got two exercises left. And we will be done. So get that two count bicep curl or the waiter curl as my favorite part of the neighborhood. <sighs> All right, guys. Two count bicep curl. friends. Keep pushing. Make sure you're getting that really nice defined stagger. Like stop, drop, lift, lift, stop, drop, stop, lift. Almost there. shoulders down away from your ears. Your arms should not be touching your head. Your shoulders should not be touching your neck. Create that space.
Yes, 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 friends. Whew. We did it. Second short circuit. The guns are complete. We did it. I have got most dead arms currently. <laughs> oh, man. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you kind of see the value in these type of circuits versus the longer circuits. So I know I go a long way to explain things to you sometimes, but I really love the science behind fitness. It's kind of something I'm a geek for, but I also just think it helps you understand a longer journey when you have setbacks, when you have big leaps forward, or when you get stuck. It just gives you things to think about and how you can come out of those places where you might necessarily not want to be, where you don't understand where you're at. Just the science behind all of it, I think is super helpful. So, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for letting me geek out with you every Tuesday and Saturday. So guys, I hope you enjoyed these workouts. Definitely direct people if you're talking to people about these workouts, but they are intimidated by 60 minutes or they are just not ready for 60 minutes yet, direct them to the short circuits. I've got two of those. So if they're looking for the short versions, then that would be four different workouts they could do. So definitely direct people if you know anybody looking for a shorter workout towards these gonna be a great guide for them. So guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please like, share, subscribe, get the word out there that we want to keep going past a year, but we need more people to do that. So please, please, if you can get the word out, share, like, subscribe, favorite, all of those things to get more people working out with us. And lastly, if you wish to donate any funds for these classes, they are greatly appreciated. Venmo at Strong Style Fit is where you'll find me. Guys, I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in a few days for another workout. Bye.